Good afternoon, everyone. Cardano powered land management system, aquaculture, number 14, life below water, right in the sustainable development goals 2030. Ever wonder what the barcodes on those little stickers on your fruit mean? Here you go. And just in time to save the day, electrofuels, fans drawing in, carbon dioxide, water vapor, splitting it apart to the base atoms of hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon, reassembling it into what? Any fuel that you could possibly think of, including gases like propane, butane. You wouldn't brute force with the electricity. You can use vibration and frequency. And I wonder if they'll actually finally use Earth's magnetic field powered magnetic motors. Nikola Tesla designs. Oh wait, was that 1889? We never needed to burn one gram of coal on this planet. And do you think they'll integrate that into the new fourth industrial revolution? I first heard about collagen from fitness influencers. I saw them at a scoop of collagen powder, their morning shakes and smoothies. What was the reason for that? Well, collagen is one of the most abundant proteins in our bodies. Without it, our skin breaks down sags and major research links collagen to skin hydration and increased skin elasticity this protein is vital for the health of our skin hair and nails whether on a low carb diet or not you can benefit from collagen five key types of collagen you need from four different sources essential to optimally support an array of full body benefits so if you want to fight back against aging Give multi-collagen a try. Highly recommend health with adapt2030.com ageless multi-collagen. Get it for a limited time, 15% off right now. Health with adapt2030.com and now on with the video. And I'm gonna start you off here with Cardano, more specifically Carta Shift. Now what they're gonna do is tokenize different projects under the Sustainable Development Goals Agenda 2030. So cocoa bean farmers can digitize and manage their land systems, the upstream cocoa butter from that produced, micro credits, and everything will be digitized. You will have no physical paper. This will all be from your digital device. What's interesting is anything that is productive for food or aquaculture can now be put into this land management system. Venture capitalists and banks are incredibly interested in pushing these sustainability goals as so many others across the political landscape. And they go on the positive side and then they say they could target different investments that would be needed to bring up economies of scale on whatever food production systems it is, instantly they can target it. But on the inverse, they don't talk about that. If they're talking naughty, uh, they could remove all the money in a second because it is digital and depends on which system and protocol it moves to. Is it central bank digital currency or is it truly only Cardano native? And you can see now clearly how blockchain is becoming integrated into and a base core of global goals for sustainable development no poverty, everybody universal basic income. It's going to be on a digital wallet, central bank, digital issuance. Zero hunger, that slides right back into targeted investment for local regions to bring up economies of scale in food production. I won't bore you with the rest except number 14, life below water. This is everything aquaculture across the planet and the oceans. So you can digitize an ocean finally and give it value and then that value can be pegged to create a new vehicle that's accepted as a one-to-one -one value. And I find it a little interesting on the timing here that European Central Bank now rushing all these crypto regulations. Now if they were going to go at the normal pace that it should be done for assessment of different regulations and time for political bodies or persons or organizations to respond and then you know you get that tennis match of this is the regulation we want. Other groups can add or delete parts and then they send it back. And it could take years, plural, to get anywhere forward on regulating. But now with the 
sections on Russia, anything crypto can be rammed through in a fifth of an eighth of a second, saving years, plural on this, which jumps right back into the sustainable development goals and the way blockchain can be used, utilized, and now regulated. Now staying on the digital here, you ever buy a piece of fruit and you get that sticker on it and has a barcode? And I remember as a kid, you never did that. You bought a pound of apples with no stickers on them, but now every piece of fruit has a sticker. If it's inbound into the States or into Europe, Australia. Well, what do the codes mean? I found this interesting chart here that shows exactly what it means. So you're looking in the beginning, is it a four, a three, a six, an eight, or a nine with the numbers following it? And then you can see organic would be a nine PLU code on that. GMO or GE, genetically engineered, you know, they switch those terms around again. They could also see bioengineered, so I'm sure that would come under the number eight category. And things come in that are cut, pre-cut, that would be a number six. And conventionally grown like we have done for the last 80 years, spraying in the fields, pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, etc., will have a number four because it's been treated as it would be in a regular orchard with maintenance in a, in a farming schedule through the year. And then number three, the ionized radiation or electronic pasteurizing, like you do with milk to kill the bacteria. Heaven forbid you'd have raw milk out there. Give it a number three, slap it with some radiation, and then, hey, it's good for your digestive tract. You know, marching forward with this whole fourth industrial revolution and the reset and the restructuring of the way the world's functioning currently, you know, industry and innovation is going to be retooled, if you will. And we're going to have to have affordable, clean energy. Enter Prometheus, fuel from the air. They call it net zero carbon fuels, but you could also call it electrofuels. Now, how does it work? The concept is incredibly simple. Big fans pull a lot of air and water vapor and carbon dioxide into these towers. And what they do is they take these, what you consider molecules, H2O, water, CO2, carbon dioxide, and they break it apart into just the atoms using electricity, so they say here, energized by renewable power, but energized could be anything. And once they get the electrical current in there, they can reassemble these individual atoms into molecules again, liquid electricity. So you take all these parts, you break them apart, you got hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon as single atoms. You shake them all about and then you reassemble them. And what could you reassemble them into? The choice is yours, I guess. Diesel fuel, gasoline, methane. And gases are on the table too. Propane, butane, ethane. Anything that has carbon and hydrogen can be reassembled. So look for this term to start popping up really quickly here electrofuels. Because molecular bonds are vibrating anyway. At all times, they're in vibration in states of motion. Now, when they come to the stretch point, all you have to do is add a little bit of extra vibration in there and you could break those bonds without having to do the brute force of pure electricity to do that. Because molecular bonds are incredibly strong. It's very difficult. Electrolysis doesn't work as just an electrical input. But if you add vibration and frequency, you could overcome that by using a fraction of a fraction of what you would do with pure electricity. Frequency, vibration. And hey, anything's possible if you can recombine elements, helium hydride. I mean, the sky's the limit on this. But what it does say to me is this modern day metal obelisk will be a thing of the past. But as one fades, the other emerges. Of course, we're going to need infrastructure. You're going to have to build out millions and millions of these. There will be no distribution network as we know now with pipelines. These will be more regional and very localized production facilities. But look how much new infrastructure it's going to take for the new world. Oh, who's going to get to invest, control, and tax that is the question. Prometheus Fuels fits five out of these 17. So you know it's going to move forward. And then you see Maersk jumping right on board as a partner with Prometheus. And the secret to it is the energy conversion. 
Now, energy, as we know, it could be light as well. Is light not energy? Electrons themselves. So the energy conversion, most people are thinking electricity at that point. What if it's not electricity? What if it's vibration to produce carbon-based electrofuels directly from the air capture of CO2? There's going to be no more carbon sequestration, carbon capture storage. You want to use the CO2 because you need the carbon and the oxygen to create new molecules and I'm wondering now if they will use the Earth's magnetic field to drive magnets spinning to then create the electricity they would need in these processes. Now we could take it one step further with the modern electronics and superconductors that we have today instead of 1914 for transmission devices. But to see how we've been played for so long here, the patent for an electrical generation motor using magnets running off the Earth's magnetic field was filed in 1889. And I think it's time now for it to be integrated and brought out into the public. Only 135 years later. So let's take a moment of Zen and reflect on the possibilities here moving forward. Everything you're seeing is the groundwork to move to the new system. Create the chaos, break the old system down to zero, restart the new system. Central bank digital currencies, cryptocurrency, electrofuels, contraction of supply chain, limiting of travel. Everything that we see in those 17 boxes for the future, they are goals and many are trying to meet them. I talk more about these same issues here on many Ice Age Conversations podcast. We're in episode 338, I was talking about, can we feed the world during this great realignment without fertilizer? These and many more issues to talk about. But at the same time, you're going to want to grow food. It's coming into the planting season. So think about seeds. TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on the planet. That link's in the description box below, along with tonight's images, stories, graphics, so you can chase down and do more of your own research, because I don't want you to believe me. I want you to do your own research, so I leave the links so you can backtrack, fact, find, and do your own analysis on what I am presenting here. I thank you so much for watching, spending your valuable time with me. I try to keep the ideas interesting so you keep wanting to come back. So I will see you next video.